In U.S. headlines, one Long Island mosque has been targeted for over a year with acts of vandalism. Bridges World News reporter Juhi Desai brings you exclusive coverage of the mosque and reaction from worshippers. On the corner of Park Avenue and Broadway Greenlawn resides Masjid Noor, a hub for Muslims in the surrounding Suffolk County area. Like many mosques, it is a place of peace. In recent months, though, the masjid has experienced less than peaceful acts of bias, with items such as glass being thrown at it several times a week. Imam Ibrahim Ahmad says he is relieved that the man behind the vandalism is now off the streets. They had him cornered off. They had their undercover police on the road. We just got the news that they caught him. And he came, as usually, he came and he threw that gas, glass bottle. Suffolk County police arrested and charged 55-year-old Stephen Pratt of Centerport, Long Island last week during their undercover stakeout for second-degree harassment. Pratt was also charged with fourth-degree criminal mischief as a hate crime for previous acts of vandalism against the mosque. Masjid caretaker Sharif Thornton and treasurer Hassan Sultan say the police have been continuing to keep the masjid safe and secure. Well, they patrol the parking lot every day now, so it's, it's really good. They're very helpful. They've been, you know, we really appreciate their help, with the, whatever they're doing for the community, for the masjid. We're so. grateful that, for the job that the police have done, and we just want to move on. And moving on is just what the worshippers here at Masjid Nur are doing. Imam Ibrahim adds that they are focusing on looking past the negativity of the vandalism acts. It's better to take it calm and we just return to Allah. We seek the help of Allah. And we, because our religion, it teaches us to be tolerant and to be forgiving. Fifth grader Safa Ibad says even the young students there are encouraged to look towards forgiveness and understanding towards the man behind the crime. Um, I would respond by saying that he should think positive more. Worshippers here have continued with their daily routines here with positivity, with little fear or anguish. Reporting from Masjid Nur in Huntington, New York, Juhi Desai, Bridges World News.